Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to find the row reduced form of a metric. But now, the metric will involve some symbolic symbol. We are given the set S consists of three vectors 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, and 0, 1, K. We are, we are given that this is a basis for three dimensional space R3. Find the row reduced form of 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, 0, 1, K, and 4, 3, H, where the left side of the metric is the vector in S. Now let's look at how I do this calculation by hand. First, we write down the metric in augmented form. It's 1, 2, 0, 4 in the first row, 0, 1, 1, 3 in the second row, 1, 3, K, H in the third row. To get into a row reduced form, we must create leading 1 and below leading 1 must be 0. So one operation is you take the first row, multiply by minus 1, then add to the third row. This will create a 0 in the third row. So we get 1, 2, 0, 4 in the first row, 0, 1, 1, 3 in the second row, and then 0, 1, K, and H minus 4 in the third row. So I have a leading one in the first row, and I also have a leading one in the second row. So now I have to make sure that entry is below leading one and above leading one is 0. So I continue, second row times minus 1, add to the third row, and I'll get the second row remain unchanged, but the third row will become 0, 0, k minus 1, h minus 4 minus 3 become h minus 7, and then I want to make sure that the entries above leading 1 is 0, so I can take the second row, minus 2 add to the first row this will give me 1 0 minus 2 minus 2 so after we got this metric already since we know that the three column vector 1 0 1 2 1 3 and 0, 1k is a basis for R3. Therefore, the system equation when it's solved has a unique solution. That means that we conclude that the last entry, last row, k minus 1 cannot equal a 0. So, you know that this k minus 1 cannot equal a 0. So, k minus 1 not equal a 0. That is, k not equal to 1. So if k not equal to 1, we can divide the third row by k minus 1. So I'm going to divide the third row by k minus 1. So third row, 1 over k minus 1. This will create a leading 1. This will give me 1, 0, minus 2, minus 2 and 0, 1, 1, 3, then 0, 0, 1, and h minus 7 over k minus 1, because k minus 1 is not equal to 0. Now, after I have created this leading one in the third row, I have leading one in the first row, second row, and third row, now I have to make sure that entries above leading one are 0. Third row, times minus 1, add to second row. By doing so, I'm going to get third row 0, 0, 1, h minus 7, k minus 1, and the second row becomes 0, 1, 0, 3 minus h minus 7, k minus 1. And I'm going to take the third row times 2, add to the first row, and this will give me. 1, 0, 0 in the first row and the last 
column will be two um, h minus seven e minus one minus two which you can simplify as one zero zero two thumb h minus k minus six over k minus one zero one zero minus h minus three k minus four divided by k minus one and zero zero one h minus seven over k minus one this is the row reduced form in fact we can actually get the row reduced form by using the class pack so let me go back to my powerpoint slide and invoke the class pack here so for my class pack i can actually go action metric calculation and then REF. Then I used the keyboard to open up the metric here, 2D calculus. Then I need a three row, four column. So I have two row, two column, and then tap again, three row, three column, and then tap another column, okay. Three row, four column. And then I can enter the metric here. 1, 2, 0, 4. And then 0, 1, 1, 3. And then 1, 3, K, H, and close. Then afterward, I press the Enter button, execute. And it give me the raw video swap. That finished the recording.